Okay, here we are in the second stage of learning God Bless America. As you can see before you, we have the written music. Now I'm going to point out some of these elements and see if you can identify what these rhythms are. Can you tell what this is? If you said whole note, that's correct. What is the name of this rhythm? Half note is the correct answer. And this one? Now when we come over here, we get a quarter note with a dot beside it, followed by a single eighth note. Combined, these two rhythms added together equal two beats. This is one of the dotted rhythms I spoke of and how what it looks like. Now, we have the rhythms that we talked about here, and you'll see a repeat of a lot of these very same rhythms throughout the piece, combined in slightly different variations. Now, we will go back to this. We're going to examine the pitch. What is the name of the pitch here? If you thought G, you are correct. What is the pitch here? If you knew it was F, you're right on target. We're going to skip to another sheet. Let me get it in the frame of the camera. And we're going to take a look at the highest part of the piece. Now there's another section where it goes close or exactly the same height, but nothing goes higher than this. Okay, now as we look at this, we have B dotted note to the single eighth note rhythm. You remember that from the first part of the song? And then we have the high note, what is that pitch? D is the correct answer. Now this is held over by this tied line where you hold it for the value of this whole note plus this whole note. And then we finish with the highest note right here. What is that pitch name? E is the correct answer. All right, now I'm going to switch once more to a different camera angle. So I will stop and I'll see you back in a second. 